cold around our parts too. We're looking at some very chilly temperatures over the next few days. Temperatures will be well below average. As a matter of fact, on the sleep tight weather cam, currently dry weather out there, but we have some clouds and chilly temperatures that are moving in from west to east across the region. Here they are right now. We have readings that are in the 30s already out in Kirksville. 34 degrees for you out west there. 52 in Quincy. You can pick out that front. It is somewhere between Kirksville and Quincy, and it is moving from west to east rapidly. So these temperatures in the 50s in Macomb, Jacksonville, and Pittsfield, you're going to be dropping off rapidly as we go through the evening as well. The winds are picking up to generally about 15 to 25 miles an hour in many locations. And when you look at the gust, well, we're up around 37 miles an hour here in Quincy out of the west. These winds are generally out of the west southwest and they are going to be howling tonight as well as high pressure builds in behind the departing cold front. 52 degrees right now at the airport. Cloudy skies. The winds are out of the west at 20 gusting to 37 and they're going to drag in some mighty chilly temperatures across the area. 60 degrees our high temperature here in Quincy today. Some folks uh, down in Hannibal I saw you got to 63 this afternoon so we did see some 60s. Folks in the northeast part of the Boone area only in the 50s today and uh, our high of 60 degrees was about 20 degrees above average here in Quincy. 44 are low at least so far, but I bet it's gonna be much colder than that as we go into the late evening hours. Temperatures show a nice contrast in the map here that front right through the tri states right now east of the front. You have mild air. It's basically springtime west of the front temperatures drop off into the 20s in Kansas City and Des Moines 12 degrees in North Platte. How about eight degrees in Denver and five above in Rapid City, South Dakota? So some chilly weather indeed. We have some snow over the northern part of the country up into parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. Some more snow out over the central plains. I think our forecast is going to be mainly hinging on the cold temperatures the next couple of days. Some light snow showers and flurries will be out there, but temperatures tonight fall through the 30s into the 20s for lows and then by later on tomorrow afternoon noon our high Thursday at 2 o'clock 29 degrees as we move on into Friday. Can we do better than that? Not really. Temperatures are going to fight to be right around 20 degrees for a high later on Friday afternoon. Saturday morning temperatures go down into single digits and then later on Saturday afternoon we're back up around 20 degrees for a daytime high. So temperatures way below average for this time of year. Mostly cloudy out there tonight. 22 degrees for a low. Very cold temperatures. Winds gusting right around 30 to 40 miles an hour. As we check out tomorrow it's going to be a cloudy day. A windy day. Some light snow showers and flurries, maybe a dusting, not a big deal though across the region. 28 degrees for our afternoon high. Then the next seven days on your Illinois Signal seven day forecast, we'll see a high of 21 with another chance of some flurries on Friday. Saturday, of course, we have the Hannibal Parade that evening. Temperatures will require you to bundle up. We'll see a high around 20 in the teens during the evening. And then I'm looking at an accumulating snowstorm. It looks like on Sunday, Raja, Saturday night into Sunday. Don't want to go too far out there with any, you know, bets on how much snow yet, but definitely accumulations. If I had to say something right now, maybe two, three up to four inches of snow in the region. All right.